Welcome, breaking news on Channel M. Giant waiting snakes spotted in the office. A threat to millions of knowledge workers. That sounds dangerous. Marcel, what are these snakes about? Thanks, Elena. The waiting snake is a super venomous um, snake. It's highly aggressive. It attacks you easily and they suck out all the happiness out of you if you work. And um, finally, they have the power to destroy the whole company. So here's a uh, very important notice. If you get bitten, you may lose all your drive and your motivation. So take care in your office. Where does the name come from? Is it English? Well, the waiting snake was named by a silly German agile scientist who mistranslated the word Q. Um, in German, it is actually like this. German, the word for Q is uh, Warteschlange. And if you translate that word by word, it is waiting snake. Marcel, where do they come from? The main origin of the waiting snakes is the land of utilization. And what I mean by utilization is that you are like how busy you are. Can you help each other out? Can you go for a coffee? Can you support? Do you have an answer for the people? That's really what makes the difference in knowledge work. This, let me draw you a chart for that. Like if you have utilization in percentage on the X, then in a very low utilization, you're not feeling very useful. Nothing gets done. It is maybe even boring and you're feeling not contributing. But um, then there's a corridor until let's say 70-80% where you feel it's great. You do your job and it's um, very useful and you can help each other out. Then over 80-90% the queues growing massively. The people have to focus on their work because they are so busy and you basically end up in a traffic jam. Everyone has to wait for each other and waiting for each other is just gigantic growth. So here is the land the high utilization land is the land of massive snakes and gigantic snakes. They grow very, very big. And this is the origin of gigantic snakes. And there's one important thing. This um, over 80%, it really, it has an exponential growth. So stay out of the land of high utilization. There's another land, which is variability. And the queues growing there as well be based on the increase of viability, but it's only a linear growth. And actually, viability is also something great in knowledge work where you are not need to have a direct look. If there is a problem, have a look, but um, normally that's not a really big problem. But many people try to minimize viability. Most animals have a natural enemy. Couldn't you raise a natural enemy to the land of knowledge work? Yeah, and Elena, that sounds like a logical, um, great idea. But let's have a look first in the deep sea of manufacturing. There are snakes known as well, and they are called the warehouse snake. But they they have really a natural enemy in their world. Like here, let's see, there's a big fish who tries to catch these warehouse snakes and actually they are very successful in catching these warehouse snakes. So what happens there is that um, they try to get them with um, an approach that's called just in time and um, they get there very successful and also the lean production um, people from Toyota or so they are like really cool fishes or the Six Sigma black belt, little six fishes, they catch them very well. And But the world looks different in the land of knowledge work. The snakes here are absolutely invisible. These waiting snakes have no natural enemy because no one can see them. No natural enemy <coughs> and known in knowledge work. So, and this in manufacturing, you have the bookkeepers, you have the CFO, inventory management, that's all they take care that you're not investing, investing, investing and have this massive queues. So this 
is not possible in knowledge work. At least not until you start visualizing with a massive amount of post-its or other ways of visualization on the walls. Yeah, due to this invisible threat, the Department of Commerce has announced a serious warning. If you have many great product ideas at a time, it is very likely that the waiting snakes attack you at work. Please stay home and keep the doors and windows shut. And in case of a bite, slow down. If you think now you might have a waiting snake laying under your desk and waiting to attack you, that's actually not possible. They never hide under a desk, they're laying on your desk already maybe. If you have a paper stack, maybe flip it through and have a look whether there's a waiting snake already inside. I hope you get not bitten and that you survive. Stay focused and work through. And <clears throat> if you like this topic, um, subscribe my channel. And if you like more detail, please read the book um, Flow by Donald G. Reinhardt. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye. Thank you.